Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a comparison video and I wanted to do a comparison with these two items right here. This is the Chanel Rectangular Mini and this is the Square Mini as you guys can see. And in this video, I wanted to give you guys the measurements on both items, what fits inside, whether or not both of them fit the same amount of stuff. And I also wanted to do uh, some matcha towards the end of the video so you guys can get an idea of the strap drop and the difference because they do have a different strap drop on both and so yeah let's get started so i'm gonna get started with my rectangular mini the rectangular mini measures 8 inches across 4.8 inches in height 2.8 inches in depth and the strap drop so from here all the way down to here it would be at 23 inches as you guys can see i have it in the so black hardware this is i believe the, the 2013 from the 2013 collection and it is made out of uh, lambskin leather and it's in the chevron pattern and my square mini is 6.9 across 5.1 in height 2.9 in depth 2.5 in depth I'm on top because if as you guys can see it is um, a little wider down here and then it does kind of fold in and the strap drop for this one going from here all the way down to here is 21 and a half and as you guys can see it is in the silver hardware and this one is in the caviar leather so now that we got the measurements out of the way, I want to talk to you guys about the prices. And the square mini currently goes for $2,900 and then the rectangular mini currently goes for $3,100. And of course, depending whether or not you have tax or not, but those are the prices currently here in the States. And as you guys can see, they are completely different in the sense of this is square, this is rectangular. Um, I have my rectangular in lambskin, I have my square in caviar leather, and I kind of pick, picked at them like that on purpose. I will have to say they both have their pros and cons in the sense of I like the caviar because it is very carefree and even though on the lambskin it's not as fragile as a lot of people tend to say. Uh, it is not as carefree as the caviar, so I do like the caviar. I also feel like the caviar is a little more casual and um, Yeah, but the the bad thing about the caviar versus the lambskin is that the caviar tends to be a little heavier Just because the caviar overall is always a little heavier than the lambskin now in the lambskin I really like how it looks very, very formal. I could dress it up most definitely and I could also dress it down. I love that the hardware is black so I'm able to mix and match with whether I decide to wear gold jewelry or silver jewelry and stuff like that. So it's just something that I don't really have to worry about. And I really like how smooth the lambskin is. The lambskin is extremely, extremely smooth. And even though, like I mentioned earlier, people do think that the lambskin is something you have to really, really baby. I haven't babied this item. However, it's not like I'm super comfortable. I am at all times aware that I am carrying a lambskin bag. So therefore, I am careful, but it's not to the point where I'm kind of like holding it in my hands and make sure nothing happens to it. That's not the case. I carry it around. I use it. I don't have a lot of wear on it. And as you guys can see, there is nothing on there. It's just in a perfect condition. And even if you were to get a scratch on it, you could buff it out with your hand and it kind of rubs off. But I really like the lambskin just because it is lighter and is super soft and I'm able to, like I mentioned, dress it up and dress it down. When it comes down to features, both bags have the same features. So they both have the CC turn lock compartment, they both have the Mona Lisa smile, and then the inside, with the outside, they both have the rings on the side, and then the inside, they both have the zipper compartment right here, one slip pocket, and the big open compartment. So I'm gonna show you guys the black one. So in this one, like I mentioned, it has the CC closure, it has the Mona Lisa smell in the back, the two rings right there, and when you open it up, it looks exactly like I mentioned, it has the zipper compartment which 
you can't really see it right there and then you have the slip compartment so they both have the same features the only difference like i mentioned would be that i decided to go with a quilting on one side and then the chevron on the other i also wanted to show you guys the view comparison even though i did give you guys the measurement sometimes i feel like this could be a little helpful but with the strap drop i did uh, i will show you guys the difference in the strap drop once i do the matchups towards the end of the video but i did want to give you guys an overview of difference just because i feel like with me i'm more of a visual person so that's the difference in length you could also see the difference in uh, depth, but also just so you guys could get a better, let me see. This is actually harder than what it looks. Okay, so that is the difference in depth. So it's just a little bit. And then in height, just wanna make sure they're and that's the difference in height. And I will show you guys the mod shots towards the end of the video, like I mentioned. And I wanna get into whether or not both items or both bags fit the same amount of items. And I have a few goodies here that I brought out just so you guys kinda of get an idea. And I think what I'm gonna do is, because I, I, I never really actually tried this myself, to be honest with you guys, but I'm going to fill this one up all the way just because I did see some watch some videos and you know they say that you can actually fit less in here so since I've never tried it myself I'm actually going to pack this up like as much as I can without damaging the bag obviously and then I'm gonna transfer it over to the rectangular and then see if there's any room left over and I think that would be like the best way to go about it so I just finished putting my things in here and I just didn't want to make this video too long so I just kind of paused the video and put everything in there. Um, as you guys can see, it's not overly stuffed. The sides don't look bad at all and the bag, this bag is currently really, really heavy though because I do have a lot of change in there um, but I just didn't want to take everything off and all that. So I'm going to open this bag up so you guys know what I have in here. And let me show you guys this is what it looks like and I don't have unfortunately I don't have my cell phone in here I did do a what's in my bag with this bag so if you guys are interested you guys can see that I pretty much did a little bit of a similar layout and my phone was able to fit there with no problem so you guys could also get an idea on that um, I will put the video down in the description down below if you guys are interested but anyways I have a lotion a small lippy I put another lip gloss here I put my tissue my coins which is I want to show you guys how full this is because it's like oh well, you guys can't even tell how full it's super 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 full and it's really heavy too but let me close that because it keeps making too much noise and then I have this, this is my mirror compact where I keep like coupons and such. I'm sure you guys saw this in my, one of my what's in my bags. I believe it was for my favorite, Louis Vuitton favorite. And what I did want to mention is this bag is actually tall enough where I'm able to put the clay and my Chanel zippy standing up like this. And I think that's one of the advantages that this bag has is that I'm able to easily put my things just standing like that and it saves me so much room and it also gives me room so I'm gonna try to see if everything fits in the rectangular mini so I'll show you I'm gonna stuff it in and then I'll show you guys how it looks and all of that so I just finished putting everything in here and I must say that because of the items that I am actually using I feel like my square mini fits a little more comfortably I did manage to be able to put everything in this one but I do feel like I am straining my leather. So you guys can see my flap is like kind of bulging right there. And right there, it's like bulging a little bit. And I will tell you guys why as I open the bag. I managed to put everything that I took out, but that's probably about it. Like I won't even have room to 
put my cell phone in here. And the reason why I say that is because this item right here that I'm gonna just take out right now, I put it in standing up because I didn't have room to actually lay it down flat like this. And standing up is actually the exact size as you guys can see. So it is actually kind of um, on the way of the flap fully comfortably being able to close. Um, other than that, I couldn't find a different way to put it in because I was like playing with it for a while, but that's where I actually put the card. And the other, so if I take that out, I could obviously put everything else comfortably and still be able to fit the cell phone. So I guess in that sense, I would have to say that the Square Mini does fit comfortably with all the items I was just playing with. Um, I'm going to show you guys. And like I said, that's because, that's because of how I have the advantage with the Square Mini that I can stand these two items, which is my Chanel Zippy and the clay. I'm able to stand it up. Whereas with this one, I'm not, I don't, I, I don't have enough space to stand it up. So I have to put it laying um, horizontally. And therefore, because of that, it just doesn't give me the perfect space to be able to fit my Bastia. My Bastia is actually in between these two items. I have the tissue kind of um, in the middle right there. And then in the holes that are left over, I'm putting, I have a lippy right there, the lotion that I had right there. And then this one was just laying on top. And obviously this, I was I managed to fit it, but it's just on the way kind of for the flap to close comfortably. So I think that's it. So in my opinion, I do feel like I could fit my things more comfortably in my square mini. But regardless, you always have the choice of obviously going more compact. I don't need such a big zippy wallet in here. I could always go for, you know, one of the card holders that is a lot thinner and stuff like that. So you're able to always play with your items, but in my opinion, I think depending on what items you used, um, I think you can fit about the same on both uh, bags, just depending on the items that you use, like I keep saying. Just to give you guys an idea of how much uh, room you have left if you were to put the mini pochette from Louis Vuitton. So you have quite a bit of space right there, and then you have that space. And my mini pochette currently, it is full of my uh, shenanigans. So just keep that in mind, but you're able to fit it into the rectangular mini and you're also able to fit it in the square mini but it's just a tighter fit obviously so that's what it would look like and you're able to stack things up on top of in front of the mini pochette so now i'm gonna get to the mod shots so for reference i am 5'2 and i'm about 115 pounds so that's what it looks like on my side this is the square mini and this is a rectangular mini and you guys could clearly see the difference on strap drop. That's what it looks like. If I were to show you guys the rectangular and the square. So because I am 5'2", I do feel like the square does look better when it's laying on my shoulder. I don't think it's as long. I do feel like this one's a little long for my shoulder, but that's just my personal preference. And then when it comes down to crossbody, that is the difference. I love wearing both crossbody, not gonna lie. I don't feel like this one's too high just because I do prefer them to be a little higher. I just feel like, I don't know, that's just the thing for me and my style right now. So that's what it looks like. Let me put this one back so you guys can see. So that's what it would look like for the square. And for the rectangular, this is what it would look like. And in the back, it would look like this for the square. I should have done that to begin with. Duh, Gina, duh. <laughs> And then that's what it would look like in the back. And I'm gonna actually show you guys the strap drop difference just by when I hold it. So I don't know, so that is the difference on 
the strap drop. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys found this video helpful just because, you know, it's it's hard. It's really hard to try to figure out which mini you, suits you better, especially if you don't have a Chanel boutique near you or even if you do. Sometimes they're so hard to even be able to um, see one at the store because they're always out of stock or they're always, you know, not available. But you know, when it comes down to how your items fit, whether one fits more than the other, I really think that they both fit right around the same stuff. So I really don't think that's a big issue. Maybe one or two items, give or take. But I think the most important thing or the key factor would be the strap drop. So it would be just, you know, your, your preference, whether you whether you like them um, laying long on you or short it's just whether you like wearing them crossbody or on your shoulder i think it's just personal preference but i really don't think you'll be able to go wrong with either or but i really hope you guys found this video helpful i'm trying to see when i will see you guys next just because i am leaving on vacation with the family over for christmas and the new year's um we're actually going to be out of the country we're leaving this week this friday so i'm trying to see if i will be able to pre-film and maybe see if i'll be able to upload it later or post it later or whatnot i'm still trying to figure that out but if i'm not able to do that i will see you guys towards the end of december or beginning of january or whatnot so i am not disappearing just not home so uh just in case i don't make it back i do want to wish you guys a merry 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 christmas and i really hope you guys could you know spend this holiday season with your loved ones and your friends and have like a blast so yes and i'll see you guys on my next video bye